Hey there, my name is Marty Markinson. I work as an augmented reality product manager at PTC Vaporia. Today I'm going to be sharing three best practices for you to use next time you're using an AR application to ensure the tracking is robust and the augmentations uh, are stuck to the environment and the location they should be. So I'm going to go through these with a number of different Vaporia target types. Uh, first up is a model target. Um, and these best practices work in a variety of different use cases. Um, but this one for model targets will be uh, demonstrating it's important that uh, the product you're working on is easy, easily distinguishable from the background. So if we look at this toy bike, there's a lot of black features in it, and the background is also black. So if we point our device at it, uh, the computer vision actually has a challenging time distinguishing between the product and the background. But if I'm to move this over to the other white side of, of this container top, <laughs> you can see that the uh, tracking lot initializes extremely quickly and now we're locked on and tracking it ready to go. So that's tip number one. Ensure that the background and the product you're trying to track on are easy, easily distinguishable. That's practice number two. We're gonna be using a spatial target. Um, and now this white side of this, uh, this box top um, is not a great um, environment or surface to use spatial targets on uh, because you want feature points. You want uh, different things in the camera view uh, to help you understand uh, where you are and the camera is in space. So if I use this white section, you'll see it tracks but it floats away immediately. But one thing we can use with the newer tracking capabilities in these devices is I'll start, start from the beginning. <clears throat> is to build out a map um, using the device's gyroscope by translating, moving left to right, forward, backward. And now it's fusing the gyroscope and the camera feed together. And this makes for much more robust tracking. So tip number two is to ensure that uh, when you're using an environment with not a lot of feature points is to move your phone kind of forward, backwards, left and right. Uh, we call that the AR dance sometimes. All right, best practice number three is gonna be on an image target. Um, and this image target uh, example is to ensure that when you're tracking, you want to have uniform diffuse light. Um, it's not, oops, cool, so recording. It's not ideal for you to be using um, a product or an environment that has lots of reflections and harsh lighting. So I put kind of styrofoam in front of this to emulate that and you can see some of the shakiness. But if I were to, and sometimes it even disappears, if I were to remove this plastic wrap, you'll see this tracking is smooth as Nutella. <laughs> Bad joke. Uh, so that's tip number three. Tip number three uh, is you want to have uh, diffuse lighting um, and you want that to, to uh, not be on you know, shiny surfaces and that will help with uh, tracking as well. Uh, so before he has got a page of best practices, um, I'm going to throw a link to that on the bottom of this video if you want to check those out. Um, if you want to kind of dive into this to even more details because there are more best practices as well. Um, and if you have any questions about tracking and applications, put a comment below uh, and I'll work my best to answer those. Thank you. Bye.